This is the 3D Viewmaster Fairy Tale The Fox and the Hound by Walt Disney. Morning mist drifted silently through a hush mountain valley. Slowly its stillness was broken by baying hounds. As a fox ran through the woods carrying her baby, the dogs baying came closer. The young mother dropped her baby, sun at the foot of a fence post and ran on. A shot rang out, then silence. Big Mama, the owl, was about to go to sleep for the day when right under her tree she discovered the orphaned baby fox. Why, you poor little thing, said Big Mama. You need someone to take care of you. Then she paused. And I know just the person. With the help of two friendly birds, Big Mama put her plan into action. The birds flew to the widow Tweed's yard where they plucked some laundry from the clothesline. Stop! Come back here! The widow shouted as she chased the thieves to Big Mama's tree. Well, I declare, said the widow breathlessly as she looked down near the fence post. Viewmaster Reel 1 Picture 1 It's a frightened little fox. And so a baby fox came to live with the widow. I think I'll call you Todd, because you're only a toddler. She crooned as she fed the newcomer. Picture 2. At the same time, a few miles away, Amos Slade poured himself a new hound dog. Chief Slade's veteran hunting dog scolded at the unwanted puppy. Picture 3. Someday he's gonna be a fine hunting dog, Chief, said the hunter. You gotta teach him. Little Cobber soon won the heart of grumpy old Chief. A big barrel was a cold place for a little puppy to sleep. It was much cozier to snuggle with Chief. One day Cobber sniffed something he'd never smelt before. Yes, late cooking fatback and grits, growled Chief. But Cobber knew it was a new scent and he scampered off to the woods to find out what it was. There, beside a moss-covered log, Cobber found the scent he was looking for. Hi, I'm Todd, a fox, said a strange animal. Picture 4. Cobber introduced himself, and soon the young fox and puppy began a game of hide-and-seek. Picture 5 Long, lazy afternoons they met in the woods for swimming and games. One day, as summer was drawing to a close, Todd said, Cobber, you're my very best friend. You're mine too, answered Cobber and they promised to be friends forever. But things were destined to change. That fall slate began tagging his pickup truck. Come on, chief, he said. You and me finally gonna teach Cobber how to be a hunting dog. We won't be home till spring. Slade and the two dogs piled into his truck. It was just pulling out of the driver way when Todd and Big Mama arrived. They were too late to say goodbye to Cobber. Pitch. Where are they going, Big Mod? Big Mama showed him Slate's barn. There were all the heights he'd gotten last winter. Fox heights. Slate and the dogs are going hunting, honey, she said, hunting foxes. All winter long, Chief helped Cobber. After many painful mistakes, Cobber grew from a clumsy puppy to a fine hunting dog. Picture 7 
When spring rolled around again, Todd refused to heed Big Mama's warning that Cobber could not be his friend any longer. One night, Todd crept quietly to Slate's, but it was a sad visit. Cobber frowned. Our days of playing are over. Todd, I'm a hunting dog now. You master real two. Picture one. Chief stirred, then awaked at the noise. Before Cobber knew what was happening, Chief and the gun toting Slate were chasing Todd from the yard. Picture two. Half heartedly, Cobber joined the chase. Over a high hill they raced, all the time gaining on Todd. Nearby, Todd found a place where he could hide under a stack of railroad ties. Cobber found him, but he could not lead the hunter to his old friend. Picture 3 I'll let you go this time, Todd, he said, and took the others down a false trail. Todd dashed out along the railroad tracks. He was free. Todd ran down the track, rounding a bend only to find a growling chief lying in ambush. Chief had his scent again. The two ran into a drizzle. Then, out of the night, howled a drain. Todd was small enough to hide between the tires. But the barreling train pushed Chief off the tracks. Picture 4 Down from the trestle he tumbled, down to the stream below. Cobber made his way to insured Chief. Looking up he saw Todd on the trestle above. Picture 5 Suddenly the hair on Cobber's neck bristled. I'll get you for this, Todd, if it's the last thing I do, he snarled at the fox. Slade was furious about Chief's broken leg. He ran to the widow's house and pounded on her door. That fox of yours almost killed Chief. I'm gonna get him. Picture 6 The widow's heart sank. There was only one thing she could do. Widow Tweed drove her beloved Todd to the game preserve. Picture 7 There she tearfully left him thinking it was the only place he would be safe. When Big Mama visited the fox the next morning, the world looked mighty dreary to Dodd. Things only began looking up after Big Mama introduced him to the lovely girl fox, Vixie. Viewmaster Reel 3 Picture 1 It was clear the two were meant for one another. But while Todd and Vixie played all was not peaceful in the game preserve. Slade and Cobber had entered the forest. Slade began setting traps for Todd. The hunter did not have to wait long before Todd and Vixie happily wandered on to the scene. Snap! Todd set off a trap. Picture 2 It was clear. Slade and Cobber were out for him. They chased the foxes to the top of a thundering waterfall. Then, from nowhere, a huge black form rose above Slade. A bear. Slade took aim, but as he stepped back, he stumbled and fell into a ravine. The hunter staggered to his feet as the pursuing bear took a swipe at him. Slade's gun fell from his quivering hands. Picture 3 Cobber, Cobber defended his master. He longed at the bear. Cobber, 
valiantly snelled, bit scratched, but the bear was too powerful. Deep in the woods, Todd heard the hell yelp of his old friend. He knew he must help him. Running down the hill, Todd leaped into the ravine, just as the bear was about to deal Cobbers a final blow. Picture 4 Flash! Todd bit into the bear's ear. Maddened with pain, the bear turned on Todd. The fight moved up the cliff. Just inches ahead of the bear, Todd started across a log bridge over the waterfall. The bear plodded into, onto the log. It splintered in two. Bravely, Todd clung to a branch suspended over the roaring torrent. Closer and closer, the bear inched out on the suspended log. He raised his paw to strike, when suddenly the log gave way with a terrible roar. Picture 5 Bear and fox tumble through space into the thundering waterfall, down to the rocky pool below. Todd dragged himself up on a sandbar downstream from the falls. A grateful cobber limped over to his old friend. Just then Slade arrived, gun in hand. He threw the weapon to his shoulder. Now he would get even. But as Slade aimed at Todd, cobber moved between them. Picture 6 Then at last the hunter understood. Todd had risked his life for Cobber. Their friendship was forever. Slade lowered his gun. Back at the farm weeks later, Widow Tweed nursed Slade's food. You're mending just fine, she said as she adjusted the bandages of playing hide and seek. Todd now lived in the woods with lovely Vixie, but neither Todd nor Cobber would ever forget the great bear fight when a fox and a hound discovered the real meaning of friendship.